Welcome to Hey Man. I'm Josh. I am Jacob. Hey man. Hey man. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing very well. Um, let me just say real quick. By the way, I I think the serial killer glasses are gonna stick around for a while, but they look so much more orange. They do look a little more orange now. Yeah. They look orange. Something about this room that makes them look orange. I'm not sure what it is. They are kind of yellow, I think. They're definitely yellow, but I, I understand what you're saying. There is a little more orange in them yeah. you know, as I'm looking at it. Anyways, uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Um, just real quick, thank you to all the new people who are listening and watching, and thank you to all the old people. Not old people, but you know what I mean. Oldies. People who have been rocking with us for a little time. Word. Thank you guys so much. Um, I, I just want to let you know that the the comments, all the comments, uh, and you know if you're on um, YouTube, I'm replying to every single one of your comments on the new videos until the other new video comes up, and right. then I move to that one. <laughs> but I am replying to every single one. I see you. I thank you. I appreciate you guys being invested enough to leave in a comment. So thank you all so much. Um, thank you to everybody who's come out of the shows. We had some crazy sold out shows all weekend in, uh, I almost said in Jurassic Park, but that's not where we were. I mean, those mushrooms look like they were straight out of Jurassic Park. Yo, dude, that video has so many views. I bet. Um, did, you, did you see the size of them? Yeah. Oh. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so thank you guys at Mohegan Sun. Amazing. Um, and then when we went down to Nashville and did uh, a crazy show at Zany's. Yep. So thank you so much. Uh, we're in Phoenix coming up um, for New Year's Eve and then ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates. Uh, remember that if you're in Vancouver or anywhere near Vancouver, BC, I will be shooting my special there the last week in January. Indeed. Um, and people have asked me why I chose that place. Um, I always try to pick a city that I didn't tour with this hour. And then look, I could have done it in the theater. Um, my ego is not that. Uh, what do you mean? Meaning I don't <sighs> like, you don't need the theater. Yeah. It doesn't matter to me. What I want to do is I want to, I want to put on the best show. I know how. Right. And I think me, my comedy is best in a three to 400 seat place. So right. I, I'm going to do, I want to make sure the special is the best it can be. I, I like it to feel super conversational and super intimate mm. and just harder to do that um, in a bigger place. So as okay. long as it doesn't matter anymore, which it doesn't, okay. um, I'm going to shoot it in a smaller place. All right. Um, and then ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates. May 9th, Los Angeles, in Hollywood, the Bourbon Room. Netflix is a joke festival starring Josh Wolf and Jacob Wolf. All my LA, all our LA people, anyone who's a fan, all of our friends, look, anyone who's hearing this, if you're in Los Angeles on May 9th, come out to see this show. We, we, we are going to put on, I already told him when we landed in Vegas on Monday, you remember what I told you? Yeah. It's going to be the best show of your life. It's going to be the best set of my life. And I mean, look, he, he has great shows every night, but I think this is going to be the best set of both of our entire lives. So do not, do not miss it. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your parents, tell I don't know. Tell somebody in prayer. Tell your ex. Tell you people, people you hate. Tell your side chick. Tell everybody. Come see the show. It's going to be outstanding. Yeah. I, 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 the last thing I'll say about that show is if you're going to come, um, and people ask all the time how they can support because, you know, we don't do ads and all that stuff. Right. Um, it, I, it would be if you're going to go to the festival and you're going to come see my show to buy that ticket early, it makes your boy look real good. Facts. That being said, I spoke to two people, and I really want to get your opinion on this, and you guys who are listening. All right. I spoke to two people at two separate pretty big podcasty places. Right. Who said they love the show. They love the relationship. They love the conversations. They do not love the name. Okay. Because, right. hey, man, although it is what we say to each other. Doesn't relate to anything we talk about. Nobody's flipping through and being like, oh, what's hey, man about? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I mean, I guess that's fair because first impression is the title of the podcast. 100%. Name, so I, I get that. I, I mean, I'd be open to 
a, a, a name change. I think a whole name and you don't look like that anymore. I, I kind of look like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not as stoned. Relax over there. <laughs> <laughs> this winter's been kicking my ass. Leave me be. I was super high in that picture too, dude. I took that picture in Sacramento after one of my shows. I, I was, I was I sober remember that in that hat. photo. Oh, you were? Yeah. Where was that picture? I just was taking selfies. You, oh. Uh, Iman, oh, that's right. Because I needed. Yeah, because Iman, when she was making this, she was like, just, uh, just, I just need something like this, shoulders up. And so I had to just start taking selfies. So I think maybe Rude. we do like a uh, photo shoot. Uh, uh, I, think and, like, I think it would be hilarious if we did like a maternity style photo shoot. Yeah, I think all that's funny. Yeah. I agree. But yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm open for a name change. I like prom pose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the whole thing. I love that one of us in the desert. Where it's like you're jumping and I'm pointing at you. Yep, that's that a good one. Fire. Yeah, we could probably get him to, but but I think we want it to be a little more lit up. Right. That's kind of a. We got there a little late for that photo. No, shoot. no, 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 no. That's that's the time of day he likes to shoot in. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, that, it look, that's why it looks so stylized and Those so photos fucking, are fucking cool. Cool, it, the best. Uh, I don't know if that's the best for this cover. Okay. But let's think about some names and guys. If you can think of names, um, hey man, pod. Three A's. Hey man, podcast or hey man pod. Hey man pod. Hey man pod at gmail.com. And next week we're going to read your emails. So hey man pod, if you have any questions or comments, um, we do that next week. But also, if you have any name suggestions, so here's the thing. I look. I just feel like there's like the the ones that I go straight to like are ones like that have already been not taken, but you well, know what I'm just, saying. Like just throw some out there and we'll spitball on them. It doesn't matter if they've been taken. I, I love that. I, I kind of like Family Matters. But like, obviously, we can't do that because there was a show that was called Family Matters. Yeah. But I kind of like that, like how that feels and how that and I agree. how that comes off the tongue. I agree. Um, so I, I actually I agree. So you know what I'm saying? Like the yeah. way that just rolls off the tongue, because then also we the description, you know, a family, you know, a family pod with Josh and Jacob Wolf. Fam family. Uh, does it need our name in it, or is in the bottom title? But it's fine with our name in it. I like Family Ties, Family Matters. I like both of those, although they were both great t TV shows. Yeah, I mean, we did Family Tussle. That's ours. Well, we could do Family Tussle. I don't mind. Let's put Family Tussle on the list. Okay. Okay? Okay. Family Tussle is not, I, I, because we're already in on that. Right, 100%. Yeah, but that show's already named That's Family what I'm saying, Tussle. and it just yeah. sounds like it honestly feels lazy to just grab it and put it on a podcast. Yeah, I agree. So, but I, again, something along that, like I like, I like family. family being the first word, yeah, because it all immediately draws people into family. What, like, what are we talking about? You know, right. So, uh, I feel like family should be in there. You know, who's going to be really good at this? Iman and mom. Yeah. So we'll. I'm going to see you tonight. We'll we'll brainstorm for right. sure. But she's there. Those two are going to be way better than the two of us. Family talk. Family speak. Family. Family voice. Mm, no. Family matters. Family. Mm. You already said fam family ties with a TV show. Family, family, life. family. Mm. But you just spell it differently all three. If family. F is for family wasn't taken, that's um, that's another good one. Another really good one. Um, fam, fam time, family time, fam, bam, family time with Josh and Jacob Wolf. Uh, welcome to family time. No, because for me, like. Then again, now that I'm thinking of like his family time, like for me, if I was an outsider, it would strictly sound like we were only talking about family matters, but we go kind of all the way around. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like we, that for me, if I read that would entail, this is a family friendly and family only topic podcast. Mm, it's a good point. Which it's not. Yeah. So, um, what about like all in the family or something how, like that? How about father and father and son? Dad and son. Um, yeah. You and I are going to go on forever trying but to think of this. That's okay. That's yeah, what yeah. this conversation is. Yeah, fair enough. So f family... <sighs> what did I say? Family family time? I agree with you. That feels too... It feels too, like, literal. Legit. That's what it feels like to me. Yeah, and people are... That is a family talk Right. It, it would feel like if I was a mom, I'd be like, oh, that sounds family friendly. And then she would hear us say fuck in the first three seconds and go, well. But I don't hate because when we interview people, we're going to be interviewing them about their families. Right, right, right. But when we get to that point, I guess, 
But right now, it's that's just January. Your, oh, that's in like fucking a week. Yeah, dude. So like, it does kind of family talk. I was gonna say family talk. Um, fam, stam, familiar discussions. I don't mm. know. It kind of relates. Like it might yeah. feel like uh, conversations we have might feel familiar to other people, like the situations. Um, I don't know. There's Wolf and Son. Wolf and Son is not bad. It, 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 that's actually not bad. I don't hate Wolf and Son. I don't hate, I don't hate that either. Matt, what do you think so far? Which one do you like so far? Talking to that mic. Tell me, wait, which one do you, any of them? I think Wolf and Son sounds like a, a law firm. Yeah. yeah, it does sound like plumbing. It's, it sounds like a whiskey almost. It sounds like a, like a brewing company. Wolf and Son? Yeah. I mean, but it does. So Wolf and Son, do you like one with a family in it? Um, Me personally, no. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, I, I think that if you want to go family uh, oriented, I like just off the top of my head, I was thinking Wolf Pack. Yeah. I don't hate Wolf Pack because we can actually Wolf Pack. The Wolf Pack. Because then also it's like we bring people into the wolf pack to talk about like their own pack. Great merch. Great merch. Yeah, we can put fucking Zach Galifianakis on a t-shirt. That's hilarious. I don't hate wolf pack. I was thinking it too, but it felt, it almost felt like it was too easy. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but you know what? Then we do merch like Teen Wolf, you know, where I'm... Oh, like because you know what we could do for this podcast? Oh my God. Remember how they made Team Jacob and Team Edward shirts for Twilight? Yeah. Oh my God. We this could make like, like Team Jacob and Team Josh style. I'm so like glad t-shirts. I thought of Wolfpack. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. I mean, listen, it's so easy to edit that part out where he was talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Were you Carlos so hold on, let me, let me just say it real quick. You know what I think might work is uh, something Stop. called the. <laughs> Stop. I'm not even going to let this happen. I think Wolfpack might be good. Yeah. Well, good there job, we go. Matt. I appreciate you, Matt. I'm not letting Matt lose the credit for this shit. Listen, dude, you can call me Matt all you want. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. What if Matt was my middle name? It's What's not. my middle name? Micah. Oh, okay. What, you don't think I know that? I don't know. I know that. I was just going to say Matt's not your middle name, but it starts with an M, and then you tried to, to quiz How me. How do you spell my middle name? M-I-C-A-H. Hmm. How else do you spell Micah? I think some people might C-H-A it. Micah. Micha? Micah? Micha? Micha? Micha is how. If, if I saw M I C H A, I would think Micha, but I know Micah as M I C A H. Like, that's the one I've only seen. You know what, dude? I'm so glad I've had a wolf pack. I think that's what we're going to go with. Thanks, Matt. Is the wolf pack. I'm you, not. You keep calling me Matt if you want. You can keep thinking I'm calling you Matt, whatever you want to do. <laughs> whatever Anyways. floats your boat, dog. Okay, so wolf pack right now. Ouch! What? Forget it. Did I just kick your hammer toe? No. Did you hit your shin on something? I fucking, I get this old man knee thing happening. Oh, and you stretched it out and hurt it? No, I bent it. <laughs> it's so, bu- dude, it's such a bummer. By the way. You should wear your knee brace. It's going to help. And also, you got to get mini bands. You got to start doing those exercises. Great idea. Uh, and then we can don't get make it. Me, don't make me talk, talk to Delphine. Don't, it's not even Delphine. Just don't tell my mom. Um, oh, yeah. Don't make me tell grandma. Get mini bands. Uh, or, this, I will, or I will tell grandma. She's here in a couple days. I know. Dude, first of all, let's just, and I'm going to give a tiny little humble brag here. Yo, I'm so proud of your mom and I. Me too. Um, he, 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 we Listen, guys, for those of you who don't know, uh, Beth and I, years ago, and just starting to settle back in now, health-wise, we... Dude, we were both heavily infested with mold and mercury. Yeah. Mercury from different things, um, but the mold from the houses that we had lived in. And Mm -hmm. we're both exhibiting symptoms, different symptoms, because because it hits you different ways. Right. But like, yo, guys, in Los Angeles, in one year, no exaggeration, if you count hotels and Airbnbs, we moved 15 times in one year. Calendar year, yeah. This counts six places with leases. Yeah. Well, still, there, was, there was one point where I had a lease. We technically were living in four places. I don't even know how you guys got out of all that still. It's crazy. Health. It was just health. And, 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 the, and the, the places we moved into didn't want 
we were like, hey, we just had the mold tested. It's through the roof. And they were like, we'll let you out of the lease. You just can't say anything about the mold. But who would we say it to? We didn't know the next people coming in. Yeah, absolutely. But we were, we've been good and sick. And it's why we moved around a lot. And we finally have found, we've now moved into a place, we're moving in now that's here in Vegas. That is when we were looking in Vegas in 2020, we drove into this neighborhood and we were like, this is where we would want to live. Dream of all dreams. Right. And, um, we are in that place right now. We moved in, uh, this past couple of weeks. Yeah. So, and, and so much of it is, is, um, has to do with the people who are listening to this podcast and people who come to our shows. Mm -hmm. So thank you all so much, but super fucking cool, man, to mm -hmm. finally get settled in somewhere and Absolutely. feel, especially after so much. And for those of you, by the way, I would love to hear from any of you who have had any mold stories of your own. But guys, I will tell you something, man. There was one night, and your mom was really sick. Mm. Oh, yeah. She had, she had, she was exhibiting the worst symptoms for sure. Well, dude, I was gone three days out of the week. At yeah. least I got a reprieve. Right. You got, you had a little reset when you went, when you left the house. Yo, dude, there was one night. I forget. I don't know if I ever told you this. The night I moved her, us out of there. Out of where? Out of that. I'm not going to say the name of the street of the house, but out of that house. W? For the street name? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, I came home and she had, she had developed, dude, this yellowish gray hue on her skin. Whoa. She just looked sick. And I came home and she, she was, we started, she was just a little erratic. We both were erratic in that house. Right. She started punching the walls and Whoa. yelling at the house. It was almost like, we, and neither one of us knew what it was, but we had an idea maybe. Right. And um, she started punching the walls and yelling at the house and yelling at the house. Whoa. And I said, hey, she said, yeah. I said, go get in the car. Mm -hmm. We're never coming back. Yeah. She was like, what do you mean? I said, go get in the car. We're never coming back. Yeah. And we talked to the mold people who were like, I was like, I want to go get my stuff. And they were like, treat it like a fire. Anything you bring from there that has the mold spores. will get into everything else. Yeah, guys. We, we, you lived in the same pair of pants. That was sweatpants. Jacob Wolf. For, we were both near 50 when this happened. Yeah. And to all the things we had accumulated over our life, mm -hmm. We're all, just all of my memorabilia, anything that I had picked up from a show, from college, anything, up until that, family pictures, gone. Yep. I have zero of it. I don't have any of the clothes. I don't, I, and I'll tell you, and same with your mom, no I mean, books, the, the, no. The pictures are in storage. Like all the, all the, 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 family the sentimental stuff yep. is in storage. And we're just figuring out how to, how to clean it out. Yeah. But I will tell you what a great lesson. It honestly, as traumatic as it was, do you know what it, <laughs> both your mom and I over COVID were like, yeah, no big deal. Yeah. It was, it was kind of nuts. The, b b because we had, we had realized and figured out because of the mold. And because we had to get rid of everything, yo, dude, I walked out of that house naked. I walked out of that house naked and put new clothes on and got in the car. That is crazy. I, I To go back in there, I had to put a hazmat suit on. <sighs> you remember that? I had to get naked in the backyard and put a fucking hazmat suit on that and is, walk through. That is insane. But I will tell you what it taught me. It's just stuff. Yeah, it's just materialistic stuff. None of it is important. And at the end of the day, what was important was when, that you guys were healthy and safe. When your mom and I walked out of that place and I told her, I go, leave everything, get in the car. We're not coming back here. We got in that car and we drove to a hotel and there was like a sense of calm. Right. Uh, it, it, about a day or two later, it you know, after you're you know, whatever self-pity or... You go through the emotions, stuff like that, yeah. I realized I don't miss any of that stuff. It's just stuff? Just stuff. All the sentimental stuff is still just, kept. Just stuff. All the well, wedding that, pictures, all the photo albums. We did not keep all the sentimental stuff. No? No, dude. We oh. got rid of 
tons of memorabilia and tons of sentimental stuff that we had picked up over the years through things that were important. Mm. We kept family pictures, period. Yeah. And we only kept this family pictures that hadn't been digitized. Yeah. Anything that was digital, we could get rid of. Right. But we get it. But it re- made me realize what was important. And what was important was me and your mom. 100%. Your health is the most important thing at the end of the day. No matter, no matter what it is. Like if we had to move out of this house because it was due to our health and I had to leave all of my shoes, I have, and I, this again is not a humble brag, this is more like admitting to a problem. I have thousands of dollars yeah. in shoes you at do my house. A problem. Oh, it's a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thousands of dollars in shoes at yeah. my house. Yeah. And if it was either, and it was either stay in there and not feel good or leave and get better, and it's for me and Iman, I'm leaving the shoes. I'm getting out. I'll sell the shoes. Do whatever. Yeah. But the help is the most important thing at the end of the day. Yeah, always. we didn't, I didn't sell anything. Well, right. You didn't have any valuable shoes. I would have sold my stuff. P- people just get to go through and pick. I did. Yeah. T shirts. I went, I went and picked a lot of graphic tees. Yeah. 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 So many good graphic tees over the years. Yeah. Had, had to go in and sweep jackets. It out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the, you know, maybe the craziest thing, you know, the thing that I miss the most mm. and have thought of the most mm. out of all the belongings. Wait, give me a hint. I want to try and guess this. Ooh, yeah, yeah, give me a hint. Really? Wanna, is it something I know what it is? I mean, yeah, you know them. Okay. Know them? Well, I mean. It's not a person, but like, it sounds like you have multiple of them, or it's a pair of something. It, okay, it was something that I had still had from Seattle. Oh. Something you would still have from Seattle? Mm-hmm. It all like fairly normal stuff, or like, uh, was it like comedy memorabilia? You weren't in Seattle for fairly normal. No. What am I talking about? Yeah. I don't know. It was my pair of Doc Martens. Oh, the original Docs? Mm-hmm. The ones I, from like 95? In 90, yeah. I bought them in 90. I did buy them in 94. Mm. And Those things are older than me. Yep. I had gotten them resold a couple times. Oh, yeah. But that leather was so Broken soft. Broken in. You fucking, loved those shoes. Oh, my God. You wore those everywhere. Well, they symbolized a lot to me. It's uh, for, look, Can I take a guess? Sure. Kind of symbolized you, you never want to forget where you came from. Like, like you've worn those, you wore those throughout all the trials and tribulations for your comedy career, raising kids, meeting mom, doing all that. It was a symbol kind of, of like, like to never forget what you've been through and where you started and where you are. They were my only pair of shoes for a long time. Oh, okay. Oh, until you got that pair of shoes when you were on. Yeah, they were my only pair of shoes, man. You know? And, and so they seen a lot. And so, yeah, it was, uh. That may be the the thing that, but, but, but. I understand that. At the end of the day, dude. Just docs. Yeah. Who fucking cares? Just shoes. Who cares? Yep. I, I, um, yeah. What a weird time that was, dude. Mm-hmm. What a weird time. Yeah. It was a weird time and annoying. Cause you I, moved I had to me move, out of. Oh my God. I had to move you guys in and out of so many places. And they all had, were three levels and they all had a lot of oh stairs. Oh my God. <laughs> After like the last, after like the, like the, I don't remember what number it was. Yeah. But after that, every time you guys text me, I was like, I'm working or I'm busy. I was like, I'm not, I can't, I can't do it. Cause I also, there was a part of me in the back of my head. I was like, are they staying there? Just because it had happened so many times. I yeah. wasn't wishing it upon y'all, but like, I was like, just track record. This is probably going to happen again. Like yeah, it, dude. it was, it was a lot. I moved them in and out of probably out of the 15. 10 or 11. Seven, yeah, something like that. Yeah, ten or the, the the boys had to help out too. Evan mm-hmm, came mm-hmm, to help mm-hmm, with that mm-hmm. one uh, on Crescent Heights. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I called in a lot of help because I was like, "Yo, I'm tired. I need some help." They've made me do this thirteen yeah, thirteen thousand times. It was a shit show, yeah. but we made it happen. We're here, man. Now, man, we made it happen. Um, I, by the way, dude, uh, I um, I'm I'm caught in a little bit of a. Between the rock, a rock and a hard place. Mm. Not really, but that wasn't the right analogy. But okay, go ahead. You know, I grew up a Red Sox fan. Yes, and you know, I love Craig Breslow. Yes, who is the new dude? Over Correct. There. Yeah, and you know, last year I swore off the fucking Red Sox. You were boycotting him. Yeah, a- and here's as I've become older, I am a complete free agent as far as fandom. Interesting. I, I'm a complete free agent. Now, I am going to want to root for the Celtics, Bruins, Patriots, and Red Sox. Sox. Yeah. That's who I want to root for. 
But if you as a team aren't putting in an effort to win, right? Mm -hmm. Why am I putting in an effort? You Red Sox, why am I putting an effort to be a fan? I, I, I no longer believe in I'm from here, so I got to like this team. Fuck you. Yo, there are teams, you know, teams in the NFL even, dude. You know, they get a check for like $435 million from the NFL every year. They do. Any team that isn't spending is treating their team like a business. Cool. You want to treat your team like a business, which I get. You own the team. You have all the money. You want to make money. Do not expect me to be a fan. Do not, if I do not, if you're treating it like a business, you're not trying to win. And as far as I'm concerned, the Red Sox pretending like they're poor with the fucking most expensive ticket in baseball. And, you know, this dude they got from St. Louis. When we were in St. Louis, and St. Louis fans are the nicest yeah. fans. The well, nicest. The nicest. My dad, when they won, when the Red Sox won a World Series in St. Louis, said there were people in the stands congratulating him. Whoa. Can you imagine that in Fenway? No. No way. You would be getting beat up, cussed out, well, shit cussed out for sure. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. LA too, though. Dude. This dude that the Sox traded for, Trevor, whatever the fuck. Uh, O'Neal or something yeah. like that. Great numbers. Yo, every St. Louis fan was like, good luck with that asshole. Oh, no. Yo, dude. It, I've never heard of a St. Louis clubhouse being like, yeah. They actively went to the fucking spring meetings and said, hey, this dude's available. Oh, they never do that. No. Ba from what I understand, bad clubhouse dude. But here's the deal. My point is this, not that they're trying to, and I understand taking a flyer on somebody like that. You know, the yeah. Patriots did it a bunch, Randy Moss, Corey Dillon. Yep. But when you were trying to sell me that as the big free agent signing, what that tells me is you're actually not going to make a big free agent signing. You're not going to spend the money that the other big market teams are spending. Yep. And fuck you for that. For example, not paying, first of all, not paying Mookie Betts was, uh, I don't even have anything to yeah, say to that. that. And then not paying Bogarts? Yeah, dude, they just, you can't, I understand getting outbid by the Dodgers. You can't get outbid by the Padres if you're the Red Sox. No way. And you have to pay your homegrown dudes. You have to pay them. I, if I was a baseball player, I don't know that I'd want to play in Boston just looking at how they treat, you know, look how they treated Uke. It's so fucking crazy to me because I hate the Yankees. I fucking hate the Yankees, but you look how they treat their stars yeah. and their homegrowns. And I would, I would love to play there. Yeah. I would love, I, I can't imagine why I would love playing in Boston, seeing as how the ownership treats these fucking guys. And you want me to be a fan of that? Ha! You want me to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Be a fan of these fucking $8,000 tickets, but we're going to put a lineup of nine dudes out that you never heard of before. Crazy. I'm so mad. Yeah. I'm so mad because, yo, dude, if I'm saying, right, I say, I think New York is a basketball town. I, I, I know the Yankees have won a lot, but I think New York is a basketball town. <sighs> Okay. I think the Boston is a Red Sox town. Yeah, it is. I, I I just think it is. Absolutely. And like the the park is in the middle of the city. Yep. Right. So I, I'm it angers me. I, I don't and blame I, you. Yo, dude, I'm Craig Breslow, my buddy. Super good dude. I'm hoping he can get in with the owners because John Henry can't pretend like that dude doesn't have any money. No. You, he, by the way, that dude is built like a human pencil. His <laughs> head looks like an eraser. It's so fucking weird. I'm like, yo, this dude is built like a fucking... He's Number like, two pencil. Yeah, he's like Beaker from the Muppets. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, that makes me mad. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame you. I mean, like, I, I, you know, it's funny. You said, you said as you get older, you become more of a free agent for sports. I feel like it's the other way around. I feel like when people are younger, they're more of a free agent to follow their favorite athlete, you know, pick a favorite team, stuff like that. And as people get older, they become more diehard with the teams they were raised on. Hmm. Like, I, like for I, me, I, I tried to be a Laker fan. Remember? I know, I know you did. And I came home one day 
And then and I came home in a Kobe jersey that I won at a school fair for a three point contest. What did I tell you? Nailed it. Um, he wouldn't let me in the house. Nah. He wouldn't let me. He saw me coming up the driveway, and he was. I was nine. I was nine. And the words, first words he said to me were, "What the fuck are you no, wearing?" Never swore at you. You didn't. No. Oh, maybe dude, that's just how I remember on. it. You were nine years old. Well, that's, that's, you that's, think that's, you walked up the driveway and I flexed on you? What the fuck you wearing? Well, maybe I added it for a yeah, little. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but he was like, "What do you wear?" And I go, "I'm wearing a Kobe jersey. I went to school." He goes, "No, no. I, I know what it is. I didn't send you to school in that." And I was like, no, I wanted it at school. And you said, you have to take that jersey off before you come in the house. I said, and, yeah, I, I, we're, we're not. I, at the time, I told you, you can pick who you vote for. You can pick what religion you want to be. You can pick who you sleep with. But you can't pick your sports teams. Yep. And that was the end of that conversation. Yeah, dude. But we had, did we burn the jersey? No, I might have been 10 because I think we had rock. Did we have rock at the time? Because I feel like we gave the jersey to him that he then ripped up. Yeah, and we then gave we bought, it to the dog. And then we bought a Garnett jersey. We gave it to the dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I traded you a... Yeah, beat, LA, yeah. beat LA, baby. Yeah, I, I just wanted you to know that... By the way, if you had walked up with a Portland shirt... Any different... It was the Lakers. It's, if the fact it had been, it was, it's just LA and New York. Yeah. I couldn't have a Knicks oh, jersey and I couldn't have a Lakers jersey. I, I am okay with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yes. Yeah. The Knicks, uh, I don't need a jersey yeah, for that. I just don't. Can't I can't have you rooting for a New York or an LA team? That would no, have been really hard yeah, to I'm okay talk about at Thanksgiving. Yeah. Remember how hard it was when we got I got drafted, not drafted, but I got picked to be on a team, a little league team, and we were the Yankees. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And they were like, "You're playing center field," and I was like, "Give me number seven. They're like, "Why?" I go, "Mickey Mantle. What are we talking about? If I'm gonna be, if I'm gonna wear a Yankee jersey." I'm at least going to wear a good number. What, what park was that at? Sherman Oaks, Cal Spark. Got to get it. Oh, that's right. Because 2000, Hadley. And 2008 TOC team tournament of champions. Yeah, because Hadley was the Yankee My fan. name is on a billboard at that park forever. So That's awesome, dude. Let's go. Yeah, that's awesome. Except the fact that it says minor league Yankees. Um, that's all right. It's the only bad part about the sign. My name's on the sign, though. That 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 is that is a thing. Yeah. Pretty fun. Man, it's pretty cool that it'll be up there forever. Forever at that have park? You, have you ever gone by and looked at it? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. At one time, we were I, when I was first like in early dates with Iman. We were driving by the park because when we lived in LA, and I was like, and we drove by. And I go, I used to play baseball here. She goes, Yeah. And I go, Actually, my name is on a billboard there, or like on a little sign there. She goes, No, it's not. And I go, Yeah, it is. And she said, Show me. So I went and flaunted my name from 2008 up on one of that little signs oh, in front of us. We took a little walk around. Yeah, I, fl I flex a little bit. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Little league flex. That's about what my arms do anyway. Yeah, 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 flex, yeah. So. Dude, by the way, I'm not sure what Little League Flex gets you, but but good flex. I don't yeah, have a Little I, League Flex. Uh, yeah, look, for me, yeah, that, it's, it's a good flex. I'm trying to think what my crowning achievement in sports might have been. I, I it was probably good college baseball. Did you ever win like a state championship or a regional or anything we, in high school or in college? college? We won uh, our conference tournament. Oh, fire! Um, and I think I hit four hundred during the tournament. Fire! Oh, I remember. I know why you hit four hundred because you sent me a news article that said Josh Wolf hits for four twenty five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I believe was, that. And I was like, "What did happened? I send that to you?" Yeah. And I when go, did I send that to you? A while ago. Why? I, I don't because you were trying to flex. I don't know. Like you were like you were trying to flex. You were like, "I played collegiate sports," and you didn't. How about it? Um, no, I'm just kidding. But, uh, but I remember seeing that and I go, and I remember you saying you were a streaky hitter and I was like, how are the next 10 games? And you was like, you were like, I was like one for 20. And I was, I was like, yeah, a streaky right. hitter, dude. Yeah. I was, I the, was not a hitter period. Dude, when I, yeah, I was streaky to, to say the least streaky. I mean, 425 in a conference champion conference tournament is pretty good. Yeah. But dude, a month before that, I almost got kicked off the team because you couldn't hit a ball. He wasn't, first of all, he wasn't playing me. Oh. No, I almost get kicked off the team because we were in the... Okay. Wait, I think I remember this dugout story. Was it a, Is this a dugout story? No. Oh, we okay. were driving to a university called Sol Ross. And um, I was in the back with my buddy Mike Hinton and a guy named Brian Wagenbach. Wagenbach. What a name. Yeah. B Wags was far and away the best player on the team. And, what, what, and, what, with a name, last name like Wagenbach? You better be. Dude, he could straight up. And I bet you right now he could he could still hit the ball 350. Really? Yeah, yeah, dude. This dude had a fucking pretty swing. Okay. Um, And so him and Hinton uh, and, and Mike and I, Mike and Brian and I were in the back. 
and um, we were drinking. And we were in two different vans. The coach was in a, the front van, and we were in the back van, and the, one of the players was driving the back van. I was going to say, how did you sneak drinking in the team bus with uh, the coach there? Yeah, and so we were in the back, and I think all we could get our hands on at the time was like a bottle of rum. Gross. So maybe we were drinking the rum straight out of the bottle and then chasing it with Coke. You know, like, I probably shouldn't do Don't that. Don't do that. You did that last <laughs> week, too. Why is that two weeks in a row you've done that? Well, I did this last week? Yeah. Didn't he do that last week when he was talking about something? This, by the way, this and this. are, Dude, well, not no, that different. No, not at all. Yeah, it feels pretty Stop similar. trying to make it look okay. Well, this no, is stop. a... You, you got to stop. You got to stop. Hold on, hold on. This is like a bottle, and this is not a bottle. No, the other one wasn't a bottle either. This? No, Just looks like you're a grabbing a really big dick. This is how you would grab a big dick? No, not with two. I mean, that's hilarious. Actually, I was thinking about like with two hands. No, I was thinking yeah. each, like one in each hand. But like you know, you can't get your hand around it. That's the, that's a double. I'm I, just trying to make. I'm just that. trying to make you keep doing that. Yeah, just yeah, in different ways. Bummer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that so many times. I was like, no, nah, move your arms, move your hands like this. No, like this. No, like this. And you fell for that. It was great. We're in the back of the van. We're drinking, and. Uh, they they both got sick and threw up in a giant Doritos bag. Ew. Which made him throw up more because the Doritos smell and like... Oh, uh, oh, yeah. And it just like brought it all back up to the surface. So we pull into a, a Whataburger to get some food and me and Wags and Hinton stay on the van. And everybody else goes in and the coach comes out and looks at the three of us in the back. And, and because we weren't in, he was like, where's where, where Wags? And, and by the way, this dude's name was Slim. I take it he wasn't Slim. It's super Slim. The slimmest of oh, all Oh, he, he actually was Slim. The slimmest Slim of any Slim Amazing. who's ever slimmed. <laughs> he was Slimmy Slim Slim. Yeah, okay, dude, okay. For slim, sure. Slim, like they named the Slim Jim after him kind of shit. Dude, he was Slim. At the slim. He was built like, uh, um, what's the, in The Simpsons, the bad guy, not the bad guy, but the guy who owns the plant. The, the crazy guy? No, the not not Smithers. Mr. Burns. He was built like Mr. Burns, but taller. Crazy. But yeah, dude. It was not a great. And um, and so uh, and he kind of looked like the old pitcher from the movie Major League, if you ever saw that. Actually, that's a good description of him, except thinner. And so he comes on, he's like, You boys coming in. And they were oh. and I was like, nah, we're not coming in, coach. And he just kind of stood there and he shook his head. And we get to the hotel and he calls me into his room, the coach. You weren't the one throwing up. And he was like, you're not playing this weekend. Now, not only that, not only, by the way, not only did I get the two best players pretty sick. Sick or drunk? Both. But I had forgotten my away unis. And so we were playing a double header. So we were going to wear one each. So you weren't wearing dirty unis. And you didn't have the right uniform. So we had to wear the dirty unis. Not only that, but he pulls me into the fucking room, right? And everybody, I, I was staying with Wags and, and Hinton. And um, he pulls me into the room and he goes, uh, You're suspended for the first game. And I was like, I understand. And he goes, And uh, you're not going to play for the second game either. And I go, why not? He goes, well, I'm going to try to win that one. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> he said, what? And he was like, yeah, I'm going to really try to win that one. So you're probably not going to play. That is amazing. I remember going back to the room and dude, Hinton and Wags were dying. They were like, dude, does he think you're just if he puts you in, we're going to lose. I'm like, apparently. That is I'm so I'm not funny. playing because he's trying to win that one. I was like, was he not trying to win the ones that he played me in before? Or, yeah, that, that is oh fucking amazing. That's so funny. Yeah, it was amazing. And then the fact that they had to wear the same clothes. Wait, I, I may be mix, missing up two stories. Maybe we weren't, we weren't going to Sol Ross, but it doesn't matter where we were going. But we definitely threw up, and he definitely told me, that I wasn't playing because he wanted to win. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, yeah. is amazing. It was a real bummer. I love that. Yeah, it was That's a real bummer. Funny. 
real remember that. I don't know if I've ever had a coach talk to me like that, mainly because you were my coach most of my life. No, you did not have a coach talk to you like that. And I, also, I was g- generally one of the better players on the team. Yes, you were. Um, I, yeah, I, dude, this I, was... I, I mean, I did have one coach talk to me in a different way once, but that's because I talked back to him because he was like, I'm going to pitch, uh, I'm going to pitch my son and Brody again today in our all-star tournament in the semifinals. And I was like, that's a, t-, and his son was like, that's a great idea. We won 12 to two yesterday. And I was like, yeah, after you hit six batters and we had to come relieve for you, what are we talking about? Yeah. And I was like, coach, that's not a good idea. I should be starting. And he was like, no. And I was like, your son can't pitch. And I got not lashed at, but I got a little bit of a, of a, of a, of a tongue lashing for it. Deservedly so. Not deservedly so. 100% deservedly so. I mean, I was right though, because we went to pitch the next day. Doesn't matter if you were right, dude. I wanted the ball, man. It doesn't matter, man. I wanted the ball. Not only was that your coach, but he was a grown up and you were not. 100%. Yeah, 100%. you deserved He still made the wrong call. Maybe. Not you, maybe. We lost that game 14 nothing. Cool. You deserved the tongue lashing and I would have I would have benched you. Fair enough. Yeah, I would have Yo, dude, you know, I'm not having a kid talk to me like that. Absolutely not. No. Nah. But that kid ended up being right because his kid couldn't pitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. And look, it was no disrespect at all. I was, I, it was, I was just, I was so passionate about the game. You I definitely loved were. playing baseball and I you loved pitching. Were. Yeah. I knew what I was capable of and I didn't get to pitch the two games prior to that. Not even relieve it. I was stuck in the outfield. I was like, I was like, coach, I want the ball. Like, do, like give me the ball. Here's something that you have to realize. And this is such a good lesson. And honestly, I'm glad. This is the problem. I- okay, I'm going to write this down so I don't forget. But you don't get to pick your coach. You don't get to pick your teacher. You don't get to pick your boss. And sometimes, and this is the problem I have with parents today. They're solving all the problems. You know, my dad, who used to teach, I would, I asked him, I remember asking him, I go, what's the difference you think really between teaching now and teaching then? He goes, well, here's the big difference. Uh, when I was teaching at parent teaching conference, excuse me, at a parent teacher conference, if your kid was getting a C, the parent would sit down and he would, the teacher and the parent would say to the kid, why are you getting a C? What can you do to be better? And he said, today, you sit down and the parent looks at the teacher and goes, why are you giving my parent a C? My, why kid are you giving C. my kid a C? Why, what's wrong with you? So there's no accountability for your own kid. For the child. Right. Dude, it, it is such, you are teaching the kid no accountability and that the world should revolve around him. Yeah. Or it's, them. It's them. It's a terrible, terrible uh uh, lesson to learn. You know what else? I'll tell you something else. You know why I don't like chat GPT, chat GPT, GPT or AI or any of that shit. Kids aren't learning anything, dude. It's not just kids. Everybody's turning off their fucking brain. There's no figuring anything out. Yo, dude, look, man, I'm not saying harder is always better. That is a misnomer and not true. That would be like, yeah, it's hard, better to work hard. So I should walk home 10 miles and get in a car. No, that's silly. Take the fucking car. Work smarter, not harder. But there are some things that are good for your brain to figure out by themselves. Yeah, absolutely. To get the answer, it's just like you don't appreciate it as much. It's like if I gave you a car or you worked for the car, yo, you're going to make sure that car is fucking clean and runs well. If you worked for it, someone gives you a car, you're going to fuck that thing up. Right. You fuck that thing up. It's got less meaning or value. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And, and the idea of discovering and f- be, and being curious, all of that, you know, you remember, dude, I never let you Google words. I made you go to the dictionary and fucking look it up. You remember that? Yeah, I did. And I don't understand why. Because if I Googled it, it would give me the same definition. It's the st- same thing. There's something about a process, dude. There's something, and, and it wasn't adding that much time, but I wanted you to ha- have to look and discover, and and maybe you might see another word. Who knows? 
But that shit was annoying. Yeah, I know. That shit was so annoying. We had the technology. Why not let me use the technology? It take me back to like going into the library to go into the dictionary and find a name for a word. Yeah, but technology or find a definition for a word isn't always good. Look, I'm not saying no, I, I'm that not... we should go back to libraries that have microfiche. Do you know <laughs> what that is? A what? Oh, oh is it that thing that you put like news articles in and then you like slide through? <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do know what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, ask your mom. I'm not saying we go back to that. That was maddening. Yeah. How long that fucking took I to know, research? I things. didn't know that's what it was called, but I just took a guess, and I'm glad I was right. Yeah. Microfiche. Yeah. Micro. Fish or fish? Fish, Microfiche. Yeah. I don't yeah. think it would be microfish. That doesn't make any sense. Microfiche does? Yeah, it makes more sense than microfish because if I heard microfish, I would think of an animal. Microfiche, I'm like, well, what's that? It's not a fish, obviously. Well, let's guess right now how you spell fish. F-E-I-S-C-H. -F I'm going F-I-C-H-E. What do you think? Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know what it was in the first place. No, so. dude, I, I honestly... Don't know why they called it microfiche. Doesn't make any sense. Yo, dude. Do you know in the library, in the library in college especially, it was so, I remember going in and seeing people sleeping. And I was like, you're not at home. You're not like, you don't have to pretend to be working at college. No. You could just go home and sleep. Yeah. hundred percent. You know? I maybe. Yeah, you just go back to your dorm and sleep. Like, what's, 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 what? Yeah, why? Maybe it's like they got, oh, you, oh, you mean like just sleeping there, like laying down, not like with books around them and they fell asleep mm -hmm. studying? Well, they, they went to study, but then they laid down and went to sleep. Hilarious. I think they were, they were probably trying to, they were like, yeah, I'm going to show initiative in my life. And then they got there and they're like, nah, I'm bored. And they went to bed. Yeah, dude, I, I, it sounds like I, me. I, I could never go to the library to study because I know I would just get distracted. I could never go because it was too quiet. Yeah, and I'm a guy who likes to play music. I fidget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I talk to myself. I have to take, or not have to, but like I take like TikTok breaks. Like I, I do a lot of things. I, I always study. found if I honestly wanted to study or when I work now, the way I work or study the best, 45 minutes, 15 minute break. 45 minutes, 15 minute break. It just works the best for me. Understandable. Um, because that way I know I got a break coming and I don't have to be distracted by my phone. Right. Um, because I know I'm, and, and not only that, I just, for my brain, 45 minutes feels like the max length of being able to concentrate. Yeah. Yeah. Microfiche, F-I-C-H-E is French for small card. Oh, is that right? Yes. Thank you, Matt, for the definition. I appreciate small it. Small card. Yeah. Which would make sense. Because that's what it was, right? It was yeah. a small card. Yeah. There you go. Well, I guess. I get. I mean, it really felt like almost like negatives from a. They look like negatives. Yeah. From a camera. Yeah. But were they small? I guess. Bingo. The American version was microform. Microform. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. All right. Um, now you said you had a video that you wanted me to look at. I, do I, I don't, you, I don't, I don't feel good about this because I, if you are gung ho to show me a video, I feel like I'm not going to like it. Oh, I know for a fact, you're not going to like it. Um, because, um, well my look, for those of you who don't know, a couple of my dad's pet peeves are the sounds. Yeah. What are you going to tell me what the video is before you show me the video? Should I not? I uh, mean, like, here's the thing. I, I, I don't want this to trigger you because I know it makes you angry. Like Angry? The sound of people eating? Uh, yeah, I hate that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, like, you know, there's, there's something online called uh, mukbang videos. Oh, did you show me one of these? I don't fucking get it at all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, you know, we don't have to do it right now, but we are going to do it eventually. But, like, I, I An wish... Asthma? Would you say I have Asperger's? Asthma? ASMR. Yeah, asthma. Isn't that called asthma? It's called ASMR. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was called asthma. It's an abbreviation. For what? Audio stimulated something. Hold on, I'll Google it. But ASMR stands for something, for sure. Oh, I thought it was just called asthma. Ass mister? <laughs> Ass mister. Stop. Yo, dude, if they called it ass mister, there'd be a lot of people clicking on there without knowing what it is. Okay. ASM is ass mister and mukbang the same thing? 
yeah, like so mukbang and tails. Like uh, mukbang videos also are like some like weird, well, I don't know, kink things for people because they like to watch people eat. But also for some people, it's like they're craving a certain food. They can't eat it. So they watch other people eat it and it satisfies that need for them to mm. want, which is, the satisfy, yeah. which is the opposite for me because it would just make me want the food more. Yeah. But also some people think like the sound of the crunch is calming mm -hmm. or like stuff like that. ASMR stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, a term used for to describe a tingling, static-like, or goosebumps sensation in response to specific triggering audio or visual stimuli. I think Ass Mister is way better. Ass Mister is pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> but like, well, I, we can do it right now, but I don't want to fuck up your mood. No, let's do it. It's not going to fuck up my mood. Let's do it. It made you so angry last time I showed you that Dude, you, you're using the word angry. You you said then and there that it made you angry. It just bothers me. Angry? You said, "Quote that made me angry." I might need to go smoke some weed. Uh, it, angry is not the right word. It fucking definitely. I don't like the noises. Uh, you we, can you send it to Matt and then Matt can play it on the big screen. Could could you just go to YouTube and look up ASMR eating or like yeah something like that? I think that'll just be the best way to do it. Yeah, I, I don't think on the phone's the right way. Um, what I mean, here's the deal. Are there different like categories? Are there, are there, cause I know, um, I watch, I think I saw Chelsea Lynn. That, that first one, that first one. I think I saw Chelsea yeah, yeah, Lynn yeah. do a mukbang with her husband. Oh, when they're eating the McDonald's? In the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but she My favorite line from that, she has one of my favorite lines ever. And that, do you know what it is? Uh -uh. And she took a bite of a pancake, and she goes, "That just made my pussy throb." Yeah, and hilarious. Said, oh my god, is so funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, but she, but but she's funny. Yeah. No, this is all serious. So like, these people don't say anything during; they just drink and eat. That's it. All right. Well, this is this is this is. I think the same video I already showed you. How? But let me ask you a question. How the fuck does that have fifteen million views? And is Asmer Mukbang, where does Mukbang come from? Um, I think from when I looked it up, it comes from, uh, it comes from uh, a Korean. It's derived from like a Korean culture, but I don't remember what it stands for. Um, but it's a Korean, it's a Korean word. Like the actual word is Mukbang. Let's skip right to the middle, Matt. So let's see what happens in the middle. No, of this I think you should watch it right from the beginning. It's going to piss you off. Okay. Just, just start it right, right from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But unmute it for sure. Okay. Well, I mean, and this dude has 15 million views on this. Oh, dude, this is going to be loud. I can't wait. I don't mind that noise at all. But, but can you pause it for a second, Matt? Can you pause it? Why is he wearing gloves? To not get his hands greasy? I don't know. He's, he's also just, he's just handling a lot of different foods. Can I tell you that the black gloves might bother me more than whatever noise is about to come out? Really? Why is he wearing black gloves to eat? I don't know. That I don't know why that bothers me, but boy, it does. Okay. All right. Hit it, Matt. I mean, this is fine. He's just showing you what he's going to eat. Hey, why don't we get to the middle so we can get to the eating part? Yeah, yeah, we'll skip a little bit. Yeah, let's, well, just... let's just see when he starts eating. That's what I want to do. Oh, fuck you. Wait, Matt, go back to the... Go, go back like a minute because I want to go back to the crunchy. Right there. Why? It, the Big Mac is going to be worse than this could ever be. I, we we got to oh. get to the eating part. Just get right to there, any right of the eating part. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? People just sit and watch this. Why 15 million? What the fuckity fuck is this? It's just him eating chicken nuggets. All right, pass this part. And go, go, go for it a little more. Does he eat all of that? Yeah, he eats all of it. Or at least tries a bit of all of it. Oh, this, I want to hear the onion ring. I want to hear the onion ring. Ah! 
Готов! Yeah, it's pretty good. Ah. Alright, go a little further, Matt. Get to the sandwich. I think that's gonna gross me out the most. Right. Yeah, that. He's so sweaty. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you okay? Alright, you can pause it. That's that, that's enough torture for him. Why is he sweaty? Keep going. No, well, let's go you, to that part. You want to go to the end? No, no, no. Right there. It's good. This part. Oh, that fuck. Oh, wait, wait. It gets better. Oh, he didn't even... What? Him chewing in my ear right now <laughs> makes me want to run through that fucking wall. There's people who also do like ramen eating videos, so it's just them slurping oh, ramen the entire time. I would probably choke myself. <laughs> Why are his fries stacked like that? <sighs> okay, enough, enough. All right, he's good. He's good. Why are, why are his fries stacked like that? I just noticed. Because he's a fucking psycho. That's why. Yeah, that is weird. Who stacks fries like that? Dude, the, the, yeah, dude that dude needs some Lincoln logs. Oh, that was terrible. That was amazing. Yeah, so that's what we call mukbang. Well, you know, there are videos where they have hot girls doing that. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, it's like let, a fetish thing. Let me see if it's any better. Find hot girl eating sandwich. <laughs> let me see if that makes it any better. I can't imagine that it would. This dude, at Mr. Asmer, hold on, before don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere on the, off this page. 15 million views. It was posted 15, nine months ago. Million views. He has 24 million subscribers. Correct. What the fickety fook? He's got 24, and all he does is eat. eat. Can you go to his videos, Zach Choi, Ass Mister? Is it all eating? Uh, I saw ASMR, so it might be like other things, but it looks like all eating. Best of Zach Choi. What? Hold on. It, that only has 87,000 views. Well, that's two days ago. This is the latest. Yo, this dude does it every day? 86 million views. Hit me. Hit me with that. Hit me with that one. This. I mean, what am I doing with my life? Maybe what? I should just go home and eat some celery. Record it. Post it. I am. Record it and post it. 100%. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make... I'm going to... What is that? Will you unmute it for us, Matt? Oh, it's unmuted, JK. Say we're doing... Let's, let's cut to it. Yeah, let's get to the eating. I don't need to hear them. I'm laughing. Oh, that one's intense. The macaroon is intense. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> And she laughed when you did that. It's almost like she heard you. That was amazing. It took us over three hours to make. Oh, that one was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Done. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, I that one was crazy. I'm going to go home and eat some celery. Do it. Post and, it. And we'll see. Post it. How, how many how many views do you think my celery video will get? Twenty k. You post it on YouTube or on just on Instagram? YouTube. Uh, I'm gonna I'm going to start a Josh Wolf mukbang channel. Let's do it. Oh my god! It's the only way to get over one thing you hate is to conquer it. Just start making the videos. Here's what I want to hear from you. If anybody is a mukbanger. Why? Because there's 24 million views. That means somebody who's listening to this or watching this is a mukbanger. By the way, it sounds dirty, but it isn't. What exactly? <laughs> what if you are an ass mister or a mukbanger? Ass mister. Now, I will tell you something about the ass mister, the unwrapping of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind that. The I, crinkling noises. I get it. Mm -hmm. I get it. Your nose is sweaty again. I know. This winter is kicking my ass. 
What? Yeah, I, I've just never seen you sweat out of your nose before. It's two weeks in a row. Dude, I sweat on my nose every day. Like, legitimately, every okay. day. Why? You seem concerned. I just want to make sure you're okay. Yeah, I, this is where, when I eat spicy food or, like, I get hot, like, I sweat here in my upper lip first. Okay. So, All right. you're, you're good. good. You're good. Okay, just making sure. Um, Listen, that, and she's an attractive woman. That did not make it any better. Matt. No, it, it doesn't make it any better. Nah, but it actually kink. makes it worse of some kind. Yeah. But this dude, I'm really curious what he looks like f neck down. Do you think he's, because he, he looks pretty thin, he looks thin for eating. But can I be honest with you? Most of the mukbang people are thin. Most of them are skinny people. And what, what, do you think he's listening to himself eat? Maybe, but also he's probably wearing the headphones because the headphones have a microphone that's close to his mouth. So that's what he's like, that's what's picking up this high intensity. And then obviously he posts, in post, he brings up the volume heavy. How how do you decide that's what you're gonna do? These look like regular people. Yeah, yeah. What's the what's the green thing you think? Aloe. They ate aloe, or probably played with it because it's like really like sticky and makes mm, sounds. And do I want to see that? Mm. No. Um. All right. Well, we got. Well, I didn't get to anything I wanted to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Except a mukbang video, but I'm glad we got to that at least. Um, comedian joshwolf.com for tour dates and tickets. Josh Wolf Comedy on all platforms. Uh, it's Jake Wolf on TikTok, Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. Um, yo, we're in a city near you. When you hear this, uh, the holidays will have uh, be happening soon. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you're celebrating. I almost um, threw up. I know. Um, whatever you're celebrating, sorry. Um, have a great time. Be safe. Spend time with family and friends. Tell somebody you love them. Do something nice for someone um, and, and all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, as always. Um, and please send my dad more mukbang videos. I'm a little shook. Not just by what I heard, but by the immense popularity. I get the, a the ass mister more than I get watching people eat food. Because when I see somebody eat, it bothers uh, you. It, yeah, but but if I saw somebody eating an In-N-Out burger, I'd be like, man, it, I, I want In-N-Out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I will tell you, watching him eat all that made me never want to eat anything ever again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to start sending you videos of me eating things just on, a, on an every now and then to fuck you up. I'm not going to lie to you. Part of me wants to, I might have to message Zach Choi directly and just be like, why? You ruined two days for me. I just want you to know that. That is okay. <sighs> Anyways, guys, comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates. You told them that. I did do the plug. New Year's Eve in Phoenix. These shows are going to be fucking bananas. Uh, so if you're in the area, come check that out. We have some really fun things that we're going to start shooting here in Vegas um, that we, that we uh, talked about last night. Um, and, um, more fun videos on the way. I don't know what else to say. I'm a little shook. Yeah, I know. Uh, Iman and I are going to take you and mom to a restaurant in, uh, when we go to Phoenix. So be prepared. It's great. It's called Postinos. Um, it's right near Tempe Improv. Yeah, but we're not in Tempe. We're in Phoenix. Yes. So there's one in Phoenix. Oh, okay. Perfect. Well, we uh, are staying in Tempe though. I thought we weren't. Yeah. Oh, great. Well, thanks for listening into that part of our conversation. <laughs> um, thank you guys again so much. Happy holidays. Be safe. Uh, we'll talk to you guys before New Year's, but please have a great holiday. Be safe. Spend it with family and friends. Tell someone you love them. We love you guys. Thank you. See everybody. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Later. brain i'm fidgety that's just kind of the person i am so i know if i'm on stage with no hat on i'm gonna be running my hand through my hair every 37 seconds mm. and that's gonna get distracting do you know what i'm saying yeah, but i think you should run it through that luscious hair people don't like that yeah but I, I, and then slow-mo it but it's gonna bug me knowing i'm doing it every 35 seconds you should run your hand through your hair in slow motion and then uh, i'll have the dj play oh, yeah. hey man hey man Hey man. Hey man. Hey man. So we, you are a.
Sasquatch guy. I'm a cryptid guy or a cryptoid guy, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. The cryptids and cryptoids. I don't think the Sasquatch is technically. Oh no. Technically a cryptid? You know what I'm talking about. I don't like, know what a cryptid is. So a cryptid is like a skinwalker or a mothman or the chupacabra or legend. Mythical. Right. But they're called cryptids. Okay. So for me, I'm a big cryptid guy. You know why? Because why the fuck not? I'm in a shirt that says, let's summon demons. Um, and it's got pentagrams all over it. Yeah, that's And I'm also in a Winnie the Pooh uh, hibbit. Winnie the Pooh, 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 Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh.